All right, we start today with an archer's ring drop from Dagoneth Kings. What is going on, you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape, and welcome to a brand new video for you all today. Today, we're going to be hunting for rare drops across so many different things in Old School RuneScape, and we're also going to be hunting down for PKers. Was well, a pretty successful Dagoneth King task, uh, even dying in my POH versus in the room. Overall loot from this one task, just about 5 million GP. And for those of you who missed it, I did recently obtain the Third Age Ring. Yeah, it took a while. A little bit of Wilderness Agility Course action. I really look forward to coming here on stream soon. I should run into many, many more PKers. Hiya! So that was a little bit of my older footage. What you're going to be seeing in this video in regards to the PKing today is all at the Revenant Caves. So yeah, I haven't been there in a while, so I'm really curious to see how it's going to go. It's always great to run challenge mode raids. This is a duo, so the loot has a lot of potential. We're starting at 21 KC, and we'll see how many we can get done in this video. I absolutely love challenge mode raids. I'm definitely getting a lot better. I don't see myself dying as much these days. As we can see, 43,000 points on my name there and yeah two successful duos with a one elite clue so 287k from that here's a lovely toa following this nice four man raid i did do a little bit of barrows looking for all the new drops that i can get and you know what else is brand new? Creator Crafted's six brand new signs featuring attack, defense, and strength icons, as well as the prayers, augury, rigor, and my personal favorite, piety. Lock in your pre-order now to save and secure your slot. And that's not all. Check out these new mouse pads featuring three new designs of Araxor, as well as Jad, and of course the money snake, Zora. Creator Crafted is currently running a site-wide discount on mouse mats as well and if you use my code sleep 10 you're also going to be saving an additional 10 percent off at checkout and of course we cannot forget about these amazing soft plushies here we have the new rune plushies very squishy and available in home teleport or blood rune sets don't forget to use my code at checkout and you're also going to be saving an additional 10 percent off and a huge thank you to creator crafted for sponsoring today's video and another barrows chest coming in what do we get barak brassy not bad it's like 200k Maybe get a back-to-back. -back. What do we have here? Carol's crossbow, 4,634. We'll take it. All right, another TOA coming in. No purple yet again. Doing 200s, but maybe we'll get a little bit better luck from the challenge mode chambers. I got a good feeling about this one, and it looks like I was right. We managed to get Dragon Claws. Not in my name, but this would be a four-man split, ideally. Luckily for me, though, one of the partners didn't even want the split, so this is a 26.9 mil split. That is so awesome. Well, you always have to run the back-to-back -back for that chance. Add another purple, but this time we were just rewarded with a Grandmaster Combat Task completed well here we have a duo 300 toa these are not at all that bad as i expected at warden uh we recently have turned on insanity so i am trying to learn that no purple yet again but at least i'm attempting something new uh really gotta get used to it though but we're gonna get there now i do plan on using the tumic and shadow for a future video but as you guys can see here this is the first time you're actually seeing it on my youtube channel i tested this at zolra because i did have just enough money to purchase it for a little bit and i was rewarded early on with a tanzanite fang that is so awesome six million gp every single zolra drop is through the roof right now so i might want to purchase this shadow again relatively soon and maybe come back and do a fresh 10 hour of zolra for you guys because this shadow was so much fun to use not only is it so amazing at zolra but i really got these challenge mode raids done even faster by using the tumican on the mage hand as well as vespula and other rooms Unfortunately here, my back just gave out from carrying my team, and even I died at Verzik. Big surprise there. All right, I completed a duo 345 TOA, but no loot. Back to Barrows. What are we going to get trying out this Tumacan 4.3 mil? Come here, you know what I mean? Aram's top. That's awesome. Back to back. Aram staff, I'll take it. You know, one boss that I'm happy that I don't kill that much of anymore is Muspa. Uh, the Tumacan Shadow was pretty good here, but I was still getting like two to three minute kills. So I don't know what I do wrong here, but yeah, I'm surprised they did loot from a thousand. But nevertheless, pretty cool boss. Always good to see a dark relic. I'm never going to get 200 mil fishing on this account, so we'll just keep using them. Torn Prayer Scroll as well. Pretty uh, interesting raids, but now it's time for a little bit of PKing. Now, as you can see, this guy was just very reluctant to fight, but I was, I was begging him. 
you know. I even lied about my risk, saying I have 7 mil risk. But uh, he attacked me first, to be fair. Then he decided not to. But I quickly convinced him. I told him, you know what? We're going to have a good time. I like to risk HP. You're going to chance me left and right. I might even chance you a few times. And, you know, what's the worst that can happen? We're both just, you know, we're going to buy our stuff back if we die. Who cares? So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to war. One thing I love about the wilderness is I just PK differently. And when I say differently, I mean I die most of the time or get chance left and right. But this time I'm trying to use a tank setup so that I can tank these PKers hits even if I'm not praying. And when you PK so strangely like I do, you do get a chance to kill these guys because they don't really know what you're doing. Everyone kind of PKs one way, you know? Pull out that big DDS spec with the uh, 3, 2, 1. Hiya! There we go. See what I mean when I say they don't expect that? I mean, you gotta bring two special attack weapons instead of one and that's why I always rely on that DDS if I'm just not feeling that Void Waker. I really love this fight. I mean, this was the first time back in the Rev Caves and although I died, I had so much more motivation after this one. Of course, you have to ask for the rematch and I definitely wanted to give this another try. I realize that I keep my HP so low, but again, I'm reliant on this tank setup to make sure that I don't die, basically. Uh, but yeah, the rematch was going in my favor, and I don't think he wanted to take the chance a second time. So after he teleported, I realized that I forgot mine. So while I was trying to teleport to Lumbridge, I unfortunately got teleblocked, and in a time span of probably less than 10 seconds, I got dropped. So... Yeah, I didn't expect that from a 115 especially. I will say that Dragon Claw spec was overwhelming. So I came back with uh, my Fists of Fury and I was just attacking anyone and everyone. I was pumped up. People were logging out left and right, logging in right and left. We're going to unleash those DDS specs into the Void Waker. And even though we just dropped all of our specs in the first five seconds, I have a Light Bearer equipped. So I'm going to be getting these special attacks back. And it looks like this guy can't even land an Entangle. But wow, what a risk he has. This 113, these guys love to risk. They love to do that combination where they throw a big surge at you and then follow it up with a massive spec and while that does work some of the time you can always deflect it and we got really close there with that dds spec the power of the dds and the dragon fire shield with the uh you know bandos boots but as you can see look at that 28 33 i mean that's the definition of a chance if i've ever seen one but again you rely on that tank setup and always being brewed up so that you can deflect these specs okay now granted it doesn't work all the time but I was a lot of fun, you know, and I'm still learning. Like, I, I kind of realize my mistakes, uh, but uh, I don't know. I like to risk HP. But anyway, there's an elite clue. 60 AK. Okay, we are switching up the setup a little bit. We now have DH and the max cape. Unscold, we are not risking much at all. Maybe about 4 mil. Scold, we're risking like 8 to 10, so something like that. Anyway, Void Waker, come on. 53 into the DH axe, 0. Okay, so if I time this Venge with this spec, hi -ya! 54, 12. Yeah, that was close. I was actually could have probably died there too. But either way, come on, Axe. And come on, teleport. Maybe next time. I love this setup, though. All right, I've been seeing this guy in the caves a lot the last couple days. So I'm going to try to go for the fight. We are scold up, ready to go. And yeah, I don't know. This guy's a little tricky. You know, when it comes to these uh, laddles, is what you call them, into the Void Waker, you do have to be careful with that because this damage does stack. All right, we are 6 HP. Let's go for it. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Can you imagine if that would have happened? I agree, that was ballsy. It was probably more reckless than it was ballsy, though. 14.2 mil loss. All right, let's go for this 113. They're uh, muted like a lot of these PKers. Let's ride. We got the assembler because I lost all my fire capes. And oh, he's not muted. All right, let's take him down. What I tell you guys, here comes Surge into the spec. 33 0. See, look, I'm 66 HP, so that was a chance, technically speaking, but we rely on the defense bonus. And yeah, I guess uh, he wasn't muted. I, I've just played with my public chat off for so many years. They all assume that I don't uh, read it. That's hilarious. Okay, let's go in for the Void Waker and then the Axe. Come on, 68. Let's get it. Come on. One more hit. We might get it. Just go for, for the Void Waker, maybe. Okay, just back to the Axe then. hi yeah, 70. Good fight. We actually got a kill, and I'm wearing an assembler. You know what I mean? 45.2 mil. Oh my gosh. You know, I can die a lot, but it only takes one PK to make back all my money. That is awesome. Well, he managed to kill me earlier, but I'll rematch. You know, I'll, you only get better if you rematch. And this guy seems pretty good. I've actually seen him drop PKers that are much better and much more qualified than me. And uh, yeah, I probably should have uh, learned my lesson just from watching that. Good fight again. Well, at least it's not. 
nice to see death back in action. Happy early Halloween, ladies and gentlemen. I did get away from a failed lure, and we got another fight, so good luck to this guy. Now, to be fair, this guy actually attacked me while I was AFK, so I had a pretty rocky start, but nevertheless, he's actually smiting, which these guys never do. So in for the Void Waker, and no big spec from that, so the axe has to pull through. Big hit with the 69. I really want to get this kill. This guy's risking a ton of GP, and he's just one of the few people that is not using overhead prayers, which is crazy at this combat level. Well, probably should not uh, keep smiting when I only have bruise left, so good fight to you, sir. That was a close one, and man, I wish I would have gotten that kill, but we live and learn. 12.5 bill. I'll rip from the Iron Man. Thank you. Okay, so it looks like this guy doesn't have Infernal Cape, so at least uh, he'll not hit as hard, hopefully, you know? That makes two of us, my man, but either way, Fire Cape engaged, and yeah, we're just gonna keep using this axe here, rely on as much DPS as we can get. Really just gotta be careful of the special attacks from these guys and keeping my HP high, but at the same time, not too high, so I can hit very hard with this axe, and this actually went in my favor. They ended up teleporting out. All right, this is gonna be a close one. We're gonna go in for the Void Waker and then into the... Okay, oh, haha. -ha. Well, that's an interesting username. Good fight. That was painful. Yeah, you know, I like to show you guys these clips because I would like to think I'm about to get so much better in the near future. So this is like trial and error right now. After this, I had to reclaim a few fire capes because I did forget to parch them. I don't know how someone with 200 almost jad kill count has no fire capes, but I'm that guy, and so we got two back. Well, we are going to finish this off with a little bit more challenge mode raids. I did a decent amount of them. This uh, video is all the footage that I've obtained for the last four days of playtime. I do want to commit to 100 challenge mode raids in the near future, but I'm still kind of learning. I think I'm going to start that video at 50 kill count, so you guys are going to be seeing all of the raids in my uh, newer videos until then. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video today. Uh, overall, we didn't really make money or lose money in this one. We kind of just averaged out with the big PK and the claw split. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you soon back on Twitch on the 20th, 8 a.m. EST, as well as some new uploads and a lot of things to come in the future. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to help support the channel further, make sure to check out Creator Crafted using the code SLEEP10 for 10% off in the description. And a huge thank you to the YouTube channel members with a special shout out to Deception Z, X Exotic X, Lom, and Day Dog Gaming. Thank you, gentlemen. Until next time. Mr. No Sleep, out.